Hello gang, this is going to be my review of the Acer Chromebook, the C7. This is the new $200 Chromebook that just came out. Um, actually, it was $200, but we found this at Best Buy for $180 because uh, it was an open box, so that's awesome. And it's worth easily $200, but uh, if you can save money, why not? So, this is going to be my review. I apologize if there's any sniffling or anything like that. I have a wee bit of sickness, and this has 10% battery left. My grandma's been on it a lot, so uh, yeah, I'll try to make it as quick but informative as possible. So we look around the side. We have the power socket. We have a lock thingy. We have two USB ports, one which is being taken up by the wireless mouse. I'll explain that in a little bit. I'm sorry. Then over here we have the headphone jack, which I believe can be used for microphone too if you're using web chat or just stuff and stuff like that. Over here, we have a VGA port. We have the fan, since this is an HDD computer, not an SDD, which means it's hard disk drive, so it's like your uh, older Mac and uh, most PCs uh, that are older than last year, but some PCs still today. Anyways, uh, one HDMI port, an Ethernet port, and these are all very important. I'll explain why in a little bit. And that is all. Oh, and on the front, very important, we have an SD card slot, which has a protector in there. And over here we have two lights. We have one showing that it is on and one showing that the battery is low. So that will also flash, oops sorry, that will also flash when you are charging. And then we have this really, this is the weight of this thing since it's a hard disk drive, it is fairly heavy. And it's not too heavy, overwhelming, but it's a very nice, it feels quality. And it does not look cheap at all. It does not look like it's $200. It's got the beautiful chrome logo on the top. And then it's got this nice plastic, but it's, it feels really solidly made. So on the ranking of this being a solid build, I would give it a very f 10 stars out of 10. Uh, it's very well built. So let's talk about hardware. Uh, it's got 300, over 300 gigs of internal hard disk space. It's got 2 gigs of RAM, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, 2 gigs of RAM for something like a netbook or, you know, something like this is more than enough because you do not need a ton of speed but this being a hard disk drive it does need to be cooled so it has a fan in there and although you cannot hear it maybe you can uh, at this moment it is on the fan is blowing and if you hear a really loud fan that's my fan up above but uh, this does have a fan inside of it and it does kick on and it does get a little hot but I mean seriously for 200 bucks I wouldn't really complain at all about that and uh, over here you have a big hole, and it doesn't look too huge, but it's kind of ugly. I wouldn't complain about that too much. I don't like empty space between there. Uh, I also have the Samsung Chromebook, which I will be reviewing next, and then I will also have a comparison between these two. The difference right off the bat is that that is SDD, which has, you know, no fan. It's a little sl way lighter, actually. And don't worry, I'll be getting into that about the different ports and stuff. I really want to get into it now, but I can wait. Okay. So performance on this thing, uh, it's very well made machine. The performance is ex does extremely well, and it is very fast. I don't know why you would need three hundred over three hundred gigs on something like this unless you're planning to put a bunch of movies on it or uh, audio files. I may review Chrome OS in this video as well because you know I've done that yet, so you might as well you need to know what's on here to get it. So it is a very nice computer. My grandma said she's not used to the trackpad, so we bought her a wireless mouse, $20. It works perfectly with this, so if you need a wireless mouse to make it more comfortable, pretty much any mouse, probably, I would assume, would work. Okay, so let's look at the keyboard. And the screen, by the way, it goes almost completely up. The keyboard is very high quality. Uh, the keys have a nice tactile feedback really nice uh, the buttons at the top you have escape back and forth for when you're in the browser refresh button make any window you're in full screen and I will show you that so let's say we're in the Google Hangouts one and you want to make it full screen you would just tap this button and it makes it small or full screen there you go and if you have multiple windows open such as YouTube and that if you would press this F5 button it switches between two open windows sorry about the glaring light uh, let's get off of those things okay 
Next, you have uh, brightness lower and brightness higher. Then over here, you have mute, volume down, volume up, and then Wi-Fi off. Then you have a blank F12. These are all function keys, by the way, which the Samsung, by the way, does not have, which, like I said, I'll go over that. Here's the home key, end key, insert, and delete, and then your regular keyboard. Although this is not completely regular, there's no Windows key, a la this is not Windows. Um, over here, you have Control, Function, Shift, Caps Lock, which I've heard not all Chromebooks have a Caps Lock key. Also, instead of the Windows key, you have a Search key, which is really cool looking. Uh, when you click that, it opens up your app box thingy to search. And I'm pretty sure you can search Google right from in there. So that's the keyboard. Uh, also, by the way, right here is the power button uh, right there. Battery life. Uh, I've heard it gets four hours. Uh, I'm not complaining. I mean, seriously, for 200 bucks, seriously, you cannot go wrong. I got We got this from my grandma. Uh, she really likes it a lot, and she's impressed with the price of $200 that you can get all of this. So, you know, a little wary at first, wondering what this is capable of, and it's extremely fast. It looks beautiful. Uh, the quality from my camera to this screen picking up does not look that nice, but it is extremely clean. I mean, the user interface, let me try to open something like Google Music, uh, the clean user interface, you have the clear white bar at the top, let me see if I can bring this closer, uh, the clear white bar, and if you click the, if you, if you click this button right here, it will, um, make the window bigger, but if you put your mouse over it for a second, you can pull it down and, sh and it minimizes it, or you can move it over, and you, it has a position to put the screen on the right, and if you move it all the way to the right, it makes it the option to go to the right. And this is really beautiful, and it shows little animations to go with it. It's really smooth and clean all throughout. Um, Chrome OS is far from complete, I will tell you that for sure. But it is extremely well built and clean, and they are close to on their way of being perfect. Uh, I have no complaints. I actually, I don't have one of these for myself, and I very much so want to buy one because of the high quality that it is 13 minutes left the battery, so I'm going to try to hear this up. Uh, it's just amazing, and I'm extremely impressed with the quality of this. Uh, Chris Perillo, one of the uh, video YouTubers I watch, he has great reviews and stuff. You should go subscribe and like his channel. Uh, he complains that reviewers praise the product too much or trash them, and they do not do honest opinions. Well, my honest opinion of this is I love the Chromebook. The concept is genius. I know people are saying, like, we're not going to give up our regular computers, but seriously, this is a great computer, or whatever it is, it's amazing, and it does it well. It's not a laptop, it's not a netbook, it's not a computer, it is a Chromebook. Chrome is what it is. It's lacking apps, of course, and a few other features. But what it does, it does extremely well. Uh, you're looking for a simple computer, or machine, excuse me, machine, for your grandparents, something easy they can use if you're there in a nursing home or a hospital or and such. My grandma's not in a nursing home, by the way. But uh, if you want something simple to give your grandparents or parents, either way, this is an amazing machine. Uh, my other grandma, she wanted to get it. She's looking at Kindles, you know, and stuff like that. And I, I'm extremely looking forward to recommending this to her. It is extremely well priced. They just got Wi-Fi in their house. Uh, if you have Wi-Fi. And even with the, with this one, it's no problem, as it has an Ethernet port over here. But uh, in general, Wi-Fi is easier. If you have Wi-Fi in your house and you want one of these, I say go for it. It's not going to be wasted money. It's great just to uh, have around the house a quick little Internet device wherever you are. Uh, I have a Surface Pro, and it's a good computer, but I find this easy for just watching YouTube because for some reason my Surface overheats when I watch YouTube. Uh, for watching YouTube, checking the web, all that stuff, and then for my computer, I just go to my Surface and do my hardcore editing and... Uh, watching movies and stuff like that on Netflix. I could do that on here, but, uh, you know. But uh, my computer's for my computer. And for web browsing, this is a whole lot easier. It is a window to the internet. That's what they said. It is basic. That's what it is. You're buying a window. And it's access to your cloud. And if you get this, you get 100 gigs free of two years, two years for 100 gigs free of Google Drive storage, which is great, plus the 300 gigs already in here. And it is amazing. And if you plug in your flash drive you can access the files on your hard drive or your flash drive. It's really, look, look it's beautiful. These, this is a bigger font for my grandma. But uh, you can access your Google Drive and your downloads folder. It's just amazing. Uh, let me see if there's a picture on here that I can show you. 
Uh, I'll show you a video playing real fast. We'll skip ahead through it. There we go. High quality video that's already on there. It's not a YouTube video. Um, let me see if there's anything. There's my sister on here. It's a little blurry right now. There, there we go. High quality. You can edit pictures on here now. Google Chrome has come a long way as an operating system. And this computer is a little heavy uh, for just being a web browser. And so the Samsung, which I will review, I just like mentioning it. Uh, I like it over, well, you'll see my reviews in comparison. But the Samsung is a lot lighter for reasons. And out of the two, well, you'll see my review. I'll explain that in my comparison between the two. But I really, really like this. And it has a webcam. So uh, my grandma, we got our webcam for her other computer to web chat with us because uh, she lives four hours away. But this makes it way easier because you just click Google Hangouts. And then there we are. Our picture, she just click call, and the webcam's right there, wherever she's in the house. Because all she, she, this is her first laptop. And so this is an extremely well-built first laptop, or first computer, and it's just high quality. So, I mean, for $200, you cannot go wrong. This is a buy in my book, and I'm not praising it, overly praising or overly trashing. I'm saying honest opinion, this is amazing. And one guy, I read it on the internet, I'm finishing this up, by the way, don't worry. One guy said that, this computer was uh, like roaches, the Chromebooks. They're all they're swarming the place, and they were not really wanted. I have to disagree. Uh, the market today is ready for something like this. They just have to know about it. And it's when we went to Best Buy, this was kind of in the back of the store and not really prominent. And they weren't. And when you ask someone, I would like a first computer or something for my grandparents, I haven't asked that question, but I'm pretty sure they would either go to the Mac section or they would go to the regular laptop section and not mention this or the Surface Pro. But this is amazing. One side note, I really wanted to start touching this screen and my other Chromebook screen when I got this. Right away, I wanted to do that. I'm either used to touch screens or this is a very vibrant screen and it makes me want to touch it. So uh, you can rent movies. It's got a camera. It's got an amazing set of apps that need, they need a lot more apps. But all in all, I would definitely say worth the $200. If you're going to be a hardcore gamer, if you're anything like that, if you want it for just media and watching all the time downloaded content, then I do not recommend this. But if it is for your grandparents, if it is a quick on the internet device, whenever, next to your sofa, on the toilet if you want, I highly recommend this device. All the way, extremely worth every penny. So I'm going to turn it off now since the battery's dying. But like I said, amazing quality, beautiful design, uh, a little heavy, which is my only complaint, but all the way buy this now please subscribe to my channel like comment have any questions i would love to answer them i have a few videos coming up i have the other review of the samsung chromebook i have the comparison between the two and then i have a special video it's going to be an interview with my grandmother about her first three days with this product asking her what she thought if she would suggest it to her friends because she lives in a building with elderly people and uh, it's going to be a really interesting video. So if you're looking to buy it for your grandparents or parents, please watch that video. Uh, very nice lady. She's an awesome grandma. Love her. And hopefully she's as good reviewing as this. I mean, she's, she's probably better. So whatever. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, like I said, oh, you've already heard me. I'm a little sick, like I said, so I apologize. Uh, all that stuff. And please like.